Hello, student. This is the next lecture of Management Information System. The topic that we are going to cover today is Expert System. We have already discussed about DSS, TPS, KBS, and ESS. Now we will be discussing the Expert System. Now, what is an Expert System? It is a knowledge-based system that uses its knowledge about a specific complex application area to act as an expert consultant to a end user. Or you can say it is a computer system that emulates or acts in all respects with decision-making capability of a human expert. Expert system means he is acting. The system is acting like a expert in a particular domain. He is thinking like humans. So he is, uh, it is showing the decision-making capabilities like a human expert. So this definition was given by Prof. Edward Penningham uh, of Stafford uh, University. So uh, this is this expert system, it copies uh, in every way uh, like a human. So uh, it is an interactive and reliable computer-based decision-making system. Interactive and reliable it means you can rely on the decisions uh, that is given by the expert system. It uses both facts and heuristics to solve complex decision making problem. The uh, characteristics of this expert system is it handles the complex decision making problems also. Uh, it is considered this expert system uh, is considered as that they have highest level of human intelligence and expertise in that particular domain. So the purpose of an expert system is to uh, solve the most complicated issues in a specific domain. These are a specialized knowledge base, which is able to answer the question after, after thorough analysis of, of the problem. It is based on the knowledge acquired from an expert and on the basis of that, it can make decisions. Now, why do we need an expert system? See here, you are seeing one, uh, one person uh, which is he's working for 24 hours a day. Okay, and then what happened? Tension and headache, and he got tired. And that too, the result that he gave is of 55% accuracy. But here, if we talk about the expert system, the results were of 95% accuracy. So, see, uh, the person is working 24 hours a day, that too, with lots of issues and then giving result of 55%. But if we talk about expert system, that too in giving within few minutes or seconds and that too with 95% of accuracy. So that's why we need an expert system. Now, what is what are the characteristics of an expert system? The highest level of expertise. It provides efficiency, accuracy in problem solving. It means it will be very accurate because it has the highest level of human intelligence. Then right on time reaction, I means the time taken by an expert uh, is the time taken by this uh, expert system is much less than the, uh, take much less that is taken by an expert to get the most accurate solution for the same problem. Means that we have already discussed, like the person is taking 24 hours a day, whereas the expert system is taking only few minutes to solve the same problem. So this is, uh, better outcome you are getting in lesser time. Good reliability, the answers are reliable, it will be error free, no mistakes will be there. Flexibility is there, versatility is there, complexity is there, you can solve number of complex problems. Uh, effic uh, effective mechanism is to administrator administer the compilation of existing knowledge in it. So what it is doing, it is effectively handling the data that he got from various sources and then providing accurately and with efficiently solutions to the problem. The expert system is capable of handling challenging decisions and all problems. This expert system is famous for solving the high level complexity problems and giving accurate results. Now, what are the components of expert system? Now uh, you see the main component are the knowledge base, inference engine, and user interface. User interface means the user who might not be an expert. He can be or he cannot be. 
So now what is a user interface? It takes the query in a readable form and passes it to the inference engine. Inference engine. अब यूजर इंटरफेस क्या करता है यूजर इंटरफेस मतलब आपका जो लैपटॉप है जो भी उसके थ्रू यूजर क्वेरी आपको डालेगा और वहां से क्वेरी जाएगी इंफ्रेंस इंजन में देन आफ्टर दैट दैट रिजल्ट विल बी डिस्प्लेड ठीक है यूजर से क्वेरी ली दैट इज इन रीडेबल फॉर्म एंड पास इज टू इंफ्रेंस इंजन एंड आफ्टर दैट द रिजल्ट आर डिस्प्लेड टू द यूजर्स इट इज द इंटरफेस दैट हेल्प द यूजर टू कम्युनिकेट विद द एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम इट इज एक्टिंग एज अ मीडिएटर बिटवीन द expert system and the user like that we talked about operating system acting as a interface between hardware and user here it is between user and the expert system the next is inference engine it is the brain of expert system it contains a set of rules to solve a specific problem it refers to the knowledge from a knowledge base it selects facts and rules to apply while trialing trying to answer the query that has been put up by the user user jo bhi query kar raha hai usme set of rules or facts jo bhi available honge according to that particular solution that will be applied and then after provides the solution on the basis of uh, analysis and doing a proper reasoning it also helps in deducting a problem to the uh, problem to find the solution this inference engine we have talked in earlier slides also that inference means making inferences drawing out conclusions out of the uh, data whatever they are getting it provides logical answers to the solution then is the knowledge base knowledge based is a i talked about a repository of facts repository of data stores all the knowledge about the problem domain जो भी उस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम से रिलेटेड जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन जो भी नॉलेज है दैट विल बी इन नॉलेज बेस इट इज लाइक अ लार्ज कंटेनर ऑफ नॉलेज विच इज ऑफ फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एक्सपर्ट्स ऑफ अ फील्ड स्पेसिफिक एक नॉलेज एक क्या है एक बड़ा सा कंटेनर है जिसमें बहुत सारी नॉलेज है दैट वॉज गैदर्ड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फील्ड ना अब बात करते हैं वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी एस एस एंड ई एस DSS we discussed about decision support system or yahan hai hamara expert system now we will find out the difference between the two how they are different from each other so decision support it helps manager to take decision now it is helping here act as a decision maker yahan wo ek decision maker hi hai because he is thinking like a the system is thinking like a, a human brain or it can be advisor to a manager meant for decision making this is for decision making they are the expertise to the manager he is providing the expertise knowledge to the manager here decision support uh, support system don't have the capability to reason is logical thinking ki capability nahi hoti hai whereas expert system mein you have the capability of logically thinking ki kya logic hai why we should go for this particular solutions he can reason uh, think logically like humans now in dss it cannot provide you the detailed explanation about the results whereas in expert system you will get the detailed explanation uh, about the problem dss it is very complexity whereas expert system deals with issues related to specific areas so this is all about expert system so now we are done with unit 2 uh, In the next lecture we will be discussing about unit 3 thank you